Caribbean Expo Development Agency launches direct assistance for Grenada. Details to this story and more in the National Report. Welcome back with the National Report. I am Wendy Edmund. The Caribbean Expo Development Agency has launched the Direct Assistance Grant Scheme in Grenada to help businesses realize greater connectivity with the World Trade Network. The Direct Assistance Grant Scheme is not a loan, but a reimbursable grant of up to 70% of the total cost of the project to be undertaken. The scheme offers between 10,000 and 50,000 euros per form, a significant increase over the last program. Dr. Patrick Antoine, director of the Caribbean Export Development Agency, says even with the best crafted programs and an abundance of grant funds at low interest rates, the World Bank Doing Business report is a sober reminder that Grenada still have challenges to overcome to be globally competitive. The challenge to you and to the Chamber of Commerce and to GIDC using the export development strategy is how do we couple this direct assistance grant support scheme with the other interventions that we need to make on the ground to make this program truly successful. The scheme gives financial assistance to registered businesses, individuals and business support organizations with the potential to export products and services. Minister for Trade, Industry, Cooperative and Caricom Affairs says this falls in line with his government's policy directive of small business development. The export strategy, a deliberate policy of government to increase export. So we need everyone on board because when you increase export, we increase foreign exchange earning, we create jobs. And that, again, a direct policy of the government. And so we have invested in the GIDC, and I am satisfied with the role of the GIDC is playing in ensuring Grenada's economic development. Dr. Antoine says under the old program, 42% of the beneficiary firms were able to recognize an uplift in their export performance of $4.9 million. The program also helped the firms to take advantage of intra-regional trade, and he says Grenada needs to participate more in this area. It's helped us to export to, to improve our performance to Europe, and we have an agreement with Europe again Minister Joseph will tell you he was at the forefront, along with myself and others, of negotiating that agreement, which continues to be underutilized. It will help us to create access to and improve access to North America, to the Latin American markets, and importantly, to Asia Pacific and to Africa. The governments of Grenada and Morocco are working together to develop a soil fertility map which can, in the long run, advance this country's efforts towards food security. Details from Jerry Malcolm. Making use of the science behind food production to help Grenada become more food secure and achieve a cleaner environment. That's the rationale behind a soil fertility mapping survey being undertaken by the Ministry of Agriculture. Ronald O'Neill is the project coordinator. The Soil Fertility Map Project is a project that is funded by the government of the Kingdom of Morocco and the government of Grenada. The aim of this project is to develop a soil fertility map of all the cultivable areas of Grenada. The survey has already covered roughly one third of the territory under scrutiny and is expected to be completed by mid-July with the public's help. We are asking for the cooperation of farmers and householders because you would see these teams coming to your farms and sometimes coming uh, close to your houses because there are some areas where people do backyard farming. The findings of the survey will be placed in an internet-based data system available to the public. Both farmers and the environment are expected to benefit from the survey through more informed use of fertilizers. The testing for the soil fertility map project, it would be done by grids. One grid will be an area of 62 acres. So it gives the average fertility for that 62 acres. Now if a farmer 
is farming intensively on two acres of land, we would advise him to still do a soil test for his two acres of land or even one acre of land. But the soil fertility map, because farmers are hardly doing soil tests, it would give us information that we don't have. The ultimate aim is, of course, food security. We farm for food production and food security. And um, now we are seeing such um, erratic rainfall patterns or sometimes dry, dry periods. And um, we fertilizer management ties within all this, this, this management systems, you know, um, of combating climate change or adapting to climate, climate change. This is the National Report. More news after the break. This year promises to be a spectacular affair as beauties of the Caribbean compete on one stage for the title of Miss Caribbean United. Come see contestants from the islands of Trinidad, St. Lucia, St. Kitts, Nevis, St. Vincent, Anguilla, Dominica, Venezuela, Antigua, Dominican Republic, Margarita, Barbados and host country Grenada. It's the 2018 Miss Caribbean United pageant, Saturday, June 2nd at the Spice basket uniting the caribbean through beauty a showcase of rich traditional culture in saint patrick with the annual river sally saraca the grenada cultural foundation has kept its promise to assist the villagers and organizers for yet another year details to this story in this report the River Sally Saraka is held every year on the first Friday following Good Friday. It features local food, dancing and the drumming, all stemming from and connected to Grenada's African roots. Attending the Saraka event for the first time was Culture Minister Senator Nolan Cox. Today, is, this is my first experience of the River Sally Saraka and um, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed with the level of community spirit. I'm overwhelmed with the amount of food that has been cooked, the variety, um, the music, the culture. It is really exciting and I'm, I'm happy to be here to experience it. I had so much to eat already. I'm taking my time so that I can have something else to eat again. Um, I, I really want to, to, to commend the, the people of Rivasali for, of course, making sure that this aspect of the culture and heritage is, is, is retained, you know? Um, because Culture is very important uh, to us, to our nation, especially our young people. And I'm seeing here a lot of young persons involved in the cooking, a lot of persons involved in the preparation of the meals. And this is what we want to see, young persons beating the drum. This is what we want to see um, from the Ministry of Culture. We remain committed together with the Cultural Foundation to ensure that this, this um, activity continues year after year. Parliamentary representative for the area, Minister Pamela Moses, expressed appreciation to the people of the community for organizing the celebration and to the Cultural Foundation for its assistance. Thus far, we are very fortunate to have the assistance of the Cultural Foundation and we are really happy today um, that the Foundation has helped to brought back this here activity. Um, we'll continue to work together with the people here and the Cultural Foundation um, also the Ministry of Culture. We had a, a, a very extended visit by our Minister of Culture today, um, Senator Cox, and it was a great honor of mine you know, to go around with him today and introduce him to the community. I think the people were very happy to have him visit them you know, at the site where they were preparing all the food. So all of these stakeholders will work together to further enhance the River Sally Saraka. Because what I do know, the people make great sacrifices and they prepare all year round for this activity. They would start to, you know, rear their fowls, rear their pigs, their goats in preparation for today. So people of River Sally don't take Saraka lightly. Villagers say it is their responsibility to ensure the preservation of the tradition. To me, I don't know what is the true meaning because, you know, we meet the old time they say. Because I just go in the past there and watch them as well. Who catching bouquet, who bringing on thing of food, you know? So I don't know really what is the meaning, but we meet today. So we just follow after them. Doing up some, um, some chicken right now. That's the um, chicken right here. Well doing up nicely. Lovely taste, you know? Yeah, I have some crab and kalaloo on the other side. Eh? Rice and peas. 
you know? Oh, yeah. Were you really understand by the Saraka? Really well, that's where people come, you know, we just, we just do we thing and people come and they enjoy the time, you know? That way, we have fun here. We have a salad, we cook with food, and people come and enjoy the time. They say like, um, Saraka, like when you have this during the year, a certain time you will give back to the to the public and that's a wrap on the national report for today thursday april 12 to 2018 i am wendy edmund thanking you for viewing